Hello guys, so today I'm going to explain you today this uh, how can we solve this problem maximum bitwise pairs. This is from uh, Hacker Arts August Easy Challenge and let's quickly read the problem statement. So problem statement says that we are given n positive integers and some certain number of queries and what we need to do is in each query we are given uh, a particular index i we need to find a, another index j such that the bitwise end of these two index is equals to zero and then this sum of the uh, sum of of the elements at these indexes are maximum so we need to find the maximum possible value for ai plus aj for each query and if there is no such j exists that means uh, this condition does not hold true for this any particular i then we need to print the answer as minus one so yeah as you can see it is uh, tagged as a dynamic programming and bit masking based uh, approach a uh, problem so i'm gonna explain you what's the intuition behind this problem and how can we solve this uh, using the recursive dp method so yeah i've taken this example from this given sample input uh, i've taken these elements friend two eight six one and then for the first query that is i equals to 2 we need to find so, so j so that uh, the bitwise end of 2 and j is equals to 0 also we need to keep in mind that the element at the js position when added with 2 gives the maximum sum so yeah the approach uh, that we are going to follow is to first understand what makes this uh, this particular expression equals to zero and for that we have just written out the binary representation of two and then let's see what makes this uh, zero when taken uh, bitwise and with any value j so so for bitwise zero i mean as you can easily as understand that for any bit which is one we need to have zero at that place so these are the numbers which can give us uh, this like uh, bitwise and equals to zero when taking and of two or with any of these number so here you can see that all these numbers have uh, digit or the bit set um, bit is set to be zero for the first place and for the zeroth place we can have either zero or one or zero one similarly all for all the other places on the on the other bits from second bit onwards from right to left uh, we can set either zero or we can set them to be one all right so now you can see that there can be many such number and each number can have up to uh, like this, this number of bits in each number can be each index as you can say can be very huge as well but uh, looking at the constant that n can be as big as uh, 10 raised to the power 5 only so this number of bits in this index can be up to uh, 17 only so we will only consider all these numbers represented by 17 bits so that's what we are going to do we'll just first write down the binary representation of the given index i and then we'll try to find out all the possible numbers which we can uh, have where the this bitwise and is going to be zero and how we are going to do that is just find out all the zero bits and then try to replace with them with one and one or zero and then try to find which one gives the maximum value now let's take this example i have already written down this number in its binary representation so you can see that in the place of all the ones i have written zero because to get the bitwise and we'll need to have zero for the ones which are already set to be one now we have option to choose either one or zero here and we can we can for for this particular case we can have at max uh, eight such possibilities then how are we going to generate all all of them and try to find the maximum one so here we are going to use the bit masking based approach so initially we will try to keep all these bits as said so we will call this as our uh, super mask for this number and then we'll try to find all these uh, sub masks for, for from this particular mask 
and this sub mask can be written as something like this we'll have zero for all these values like zero and then zero zero then we had option to uh, either set this bit off or this one or this one so let's say we set this one off and we kept this one as uh, one similarly we could have done something like we could have uh, kept uh, zero one zero 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 and then instead of setting this bit off we would set this one off and we'll keep this one as similarly we could have set this one off and we would write this one now this is our new sub problem and then we are going to uh, recursively try to find out the best answer out of here so i mean recursively for each each of these sub problem so whichever gives us the maximum value would be the max would be the answer for this uh, ith query i mean we would pick that value so one value could be this number itself that this as you can see that this is also a valid possibility here when this number is uh, taken and with this i it will give you um, yeah it will give you zero but uh, we are not sure whether this is the maximum value that we can achieve so what we try to do we try to find out the other possibility we and we know that we cannot uh, play with the, the digits or the bits which are set to be zero so we will only uh, change the ones which are not set to be zero that means the ones which are set to be one so here i have tried to set this one off and then try to recursively solve for this one so here also we had three options and these three could also be a possible candidate for the best answer and then from here as well we are going to find out all the sub mask from now these are the new sub new super mask and then we'll find the sub mask the best answer for all of all of its sub masks here similarly from here and from here then the maximum of all these will be the answer for this ith query so here you can easily observe that these sub problems can be overlapping that means these uh, can also be a sub problem from another problem like uh, i mean a, a sub mask of some other mask as well like as we saw that this mask is achieved from setting one of the one set bit as zero like if we if we if from here here what we did we turned off this one right but we could have achieved the same number same mask from some other other number like we would have set this number off so we could we could say that uh, if we had something like zero one one zero one and then zero and from here to here as well we could achieve by setting this number off and you can see these two numbers are different all right so these two share the same uh, sub problem here meaning that there is a overlap in the sub problem so we can use the memoization technique to uh, stop uh, avoid recalculating this particular sub problem again and again so with all these things in the mind now let's jump into the code and see uh, how we can code this i hope then the things will be much more clear after this right so this is what our code looks like i have uh, taken input for the number of elements then yeah, initialize dp with minus one i'll explain about this one in a moment why i, I have stored minus two at the zeroth place and then i'm storing all these value at the one base indexing then number of inputs and then I'm taking number of queries and then for each query I'm taking the index of and that this x is nothing but the i here so 2 or 4 right now I am converting this x into xx that means uh, I'm trying to generate a, sub, a super mask which we discussed here so for this given uh, i what we'll do is we'll generate a super mask which is this one and if you look closely this is nothing but uh, the XOR with uh, this this big value and this big value is nothing but the number of bits that we can have and if all those um, bits are set to be 1 it is nothing but 2 raised to the power 17 minus 1 and if we take XOR we'll get the super mask and then from there we will try to find the answer so I have stored it in the separate variable because it will be modified and that's why because i needed to get the element stored at the uh, access position and that's why i've stored in, in a different value xx then i'll find out the answer here now let's look at the implementation of solve function so as we discussed this that 
we will try to uh, avoid recalculating all the values which are already calculated so i have declared this uh, dp array here and i am checking if this is minus one that means if this is initial value only if this is not that means we have seen some sub problem which is already uh, which we, we have already calculated the answer for this one and then we'll reach, uh, return that particular calculated value otherwise here as you can see that not all the time we will have the number of elements uh, equals to the mask that we are going to generate so uh, here I am just checking if this mask is below n then only we will consider that particular value so as I said this super mask itself can be a potential candidate but we need to keep in mind that we are generating this from 2 to the power 17 minus 1 and which can be around uh, yeah it can be uh, bigger than the number of elements that we have in the array so if that is the case then we will if it is smaller than we will consider this uh, element otherwise we will say that this is an uh, invalid case and we will store minus 2 why not minus 1 because we are initializing minus 1 as the identifier for telling that this uh, dp value is not calculated so as you can see answer is assigned to dp here and that's why uh, i'm storing it minus 2 here also we don't have any zeroth index and that's why if at any moment if our mask becomes zero that's also invalid and we should mark it as minus 2 so we could we could mark it as minus 3 and just need to catch here whatever value we will i am just trying to uniquely identify this particular case then as we said then we will try to iterate over our uh, each, each bit in this in this mask then we'll find out whichever bit is set then we'll try to unset that and then we recursively solve for this sub mask this is what i'm doing i'm just checking if this ith bit starting from 0 to 17 is uh, is set to be 1 then this value will be will not be 0 and in that case we'll try to recursively solve the answer for uh, the sub mask that will generate by taking the xor with the 2 raised to the power that ith bit and uh, yeah in the end i'm also uh, also comparing the maximum answer that we'll get from all these possibilities and whichever is the maximum value i will try to store that in the dp of the initial mask and then i'm just trying to see if this answer is minus two that means if it is invalid case then i'll just need to print minus one otherwise we have found some valid uh, valid mask a uh, valid sum mask i would say and then we will need to add the current uh, elements the position that we are currently considering this is i so array of i plus the answer that we have got so yeah uh, i hope i was able to explain you guys properly if there is anything unclear or any feedback for me please let me know in the comment section below and yeah thanks for watching this video guys